So the tide is turning, and although you're not going to hear it uh, in the media, I'm bringing you some good news that uh, uh, it may be a little bit imperceptible right now, but the attitudes in America are changing toward uh, abortion. In fact, there are more people who are pro-life now than there are uh, who are pro-abortion. So um, that is a, that's a very positive thing. People are believing more in a biblical approach to sanctity of life, and I'm just extremely encouraged by that. And more people are opposing abortion now than, say, 10 years ago. And uh, you might be interested to know that 23 years ago in 1991, there were 2,176 abortion bills in America. 2,176 abortion bills. That was 23 years ago. Last year, there were 581. Uh, but here's the really important number. The number of abortion businesses in America that closed just last year, 87. So that's because of people like you. It's because of centers like yours. It's because of churches that preach um, sanctity of life and good and godly people who help to support those who support life. And uh, So I've always believed, just like the Apostle Paul said, that uh, you overcome evil with good. And that's why it's imperative for us to uh, support your wonderful pregnancy center and those who support life. And they are, as uh, President uh, Bush said, transforming our culture from a culture of death to a culture of life. But it's really not a political issue. Uh, in fact, how many of you know it really doesn't matter what happens in the White House? Uh, no, I shouldn't say it doesn't matter. It's not a matter of what happens in the White House. It's not a matter of what happens in the Supreme Court. It's not a matter of what happens in the Georgia courts. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's a matter of what happens in this room. It's a matter of what happens right here in your heart. Yeah, because if little platoons, we call it, all over the nation, little communities begin to say, not on my watch, not in my backyard, and we're going to do what it takes to eradicate this problem from us and to help people to choose life, then all across the nation, we're going to turn it from a culture of death to a culture of life. And that's, uh, you can turn it around. And, and it's not going to be a political answer. It's going to come by, by changing hearts. So it's important that we continue to proclaim this truth and save the next generation by supporting those who support life. ABC Women's Center, a better choice. Hi everyone, I'm here with George Durden who is a supporter of the ABC Women's Clinic and we're here at the 2014 fundraiser event. Hi Mr. Durden. Great, great, great. Now, now tell us how this event has been for you this evening. Well it's just, it's just been a great fundraiser for ABC and they're like everybody else, we need as much money as we can raise to save these babies. And Beth just does a great job and she's visited our church and She's out there just proclaiming what she's doing here. So everybody, everybody listening needs to know about this program and needs the support. Absolutely. Now, right. Mr. Durbin, how long have you been a, a supporter of the, of the women's clinic? Just, just off and on over the years. I haven't mm -hmm. been a board member. Right. Uh, uh, but uh, just, you know, we, our church is a big supporter of her clinic. And what's the name of That's, your church? Uh, Pine Forest Methodist. Mm -hmm. And all churches should be back behind them. Absolutely. Such yeah. a wonderful closet, yeah. a yeah. wonderful clinic. And yeah. I tell you, Ms. Great. Becky Wood has been doing a great job She's here as CEO. Great job, great job. And thank you all for coming out and sharing this with the, with the public and everything. Thank okay? you. Thank you. Thank great. you so much, great. Mr. Durbin. God Thank bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Here, our very own district attorney, Craig Frazier. How is tonight? Give me your thoughts about our wonderful ABC. I night. want to tell you, it's, it's, one of the, it's one of the great ministries in Lawrence County. Yes, I was so glad to have the invitation. I was so glad to be here tonight. I wish the whole county was here. I wish the whole middle Georgia area had been here. But Absolutely. they do wonderful work. And if we can just save one child, and if it's not but just one child at a time, it's wonderful work. I agree with you 100%. What a wonderful ministry. What a wonderful, I mean, you leave this place with your heart just. You do. I, I feel so good. A while ago, our speaker said, don't we feel good? And I certainly do. I'll go home tonight and feel good. Wonderful. I feel wonderful. And, and I'll always, you just, it's just something that you leave here knowing that you've made a change. 
thank you so much for being thank here tonight. Thank you for asking and me, and thank you for having <laughs> me on TV and asking me to be here so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. What a wonderful night, and give us your thoughts. Well, first of all, tell us who you are. Hi, I'm Davey Brown. Like if I didn't know. <laughs> Hi, my wife is Kay, and uh, it's a pleasure being here tonight. Uh, ABC is a wonderful group of people. When you meet the people that run it, you realize that it is ordained by God. And the, and the statistics tonight actually are so astounding uh, when you think about 54 million, you yes. know, uh, relative to how many has been lost in the wars over, you know. I was and so, it, so shocked when, you know, every day, how many babies we lose daily. Correct, and, and, and that was astounding is there, I think in the range of 200 that they had predicted had been saved in Dublin, but yet there was even more than that that had actually, you know, abortions that occurred. So there is still lots of work to do in Dublin. And But uh, from the speaker tonight, I think we all got a message that there's a lot of work to be done, but uh, it, it does take finances, and that's the purpose of us being here tonight. And, and uh, it's not a marketing tool, but it's actually a gathering of, of Christian people that want to do something about it. That's right. I'm here with Mr. Grayson Dent. I mean, this has been a wonderful event tonight, uh, representing the ABC Women's Clinic. What, is, what are your thoughts about tonight's event? Uh, it was extremely encouraging. Uh, we're um, just we're winning the war against abortion, and, and the, some of the things they talked about tonight were just, you know, really encouraging as to what what's going on at ABC Clinic, and we're just happy that you know so many people came out and they raised you know over a hundred thousand dollars, and we just you know, really excited of the things that can they can do with that money absolutely and just such a difference that's being made within this community with one individual person one person at a time right and that's and that's one thing he talked about it doesn't matter who's in the white house or who's in washington or atlanta it's who you know what we can do in the community here uh, everybody can make a difference and, and that's what we're out here doing tonight absolutely well i certainly appreciate the difference that you're making sir all right thank you thank you so much I'm here with Maria, Maria Thompson, <laughs> and uh, how are you tonight? Good. I enjoyed the evening. I know. We all did. I would love to know, what was it about tonight that really touched your heart? Well, really, this is my first opportunity to come and see this type of event. I love the ABC Women's Clinic. I think it's a wonderful blessing in our community. But tonight was my very first time I was able to give monetarily, and it did touch my heart. Absolutely. Um, it's a blessing to have this in the community, and I didn't realize how many abortions were here just in Lawrence County. So I'm touched to be a part of it. I'm here with a good old friend, Pastor Greg Lowry. How are you doing, Pastor? I'm doing fine. How are you, Pat? I'm great. You know, when I looked out in the crowd and I saw you, it was such a pleasant surprise to see you here. Nice to see you again. Now, tell me what it meant for you to be here. I know you were invited by a pastor friend of yours. What did you gather, being a pastor, what did you grasp that you know that you can take back to your congregation about uh, the necessity of supporting the ABC Women's Clinic? Well, I got some new insight tonight. You know, as a pastor, I've always looked at this as a moral issue. Mm -hmm. uh, and I personally had also looked at it as a political issue. But mm -hmm. I, I realized tonight through the, the guest speaker that it's really more of a, a battle of the heart. Mm -hmm. And we will do more rather than trying to do this politically. We'll do more mm -hmm. by trying to change hearts. Right. You know, I... I grasp that as well, you know, because when you look at the big picture, it seems overwhelming as far as trying right. to make that change. To, right. But when we can actually start with ourselves and work within our communities Absolutely. to make that difference uh, to change hearts. Absolutely. I think that's pretty wonderful. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to changing hearts here. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I'm going to do what I can. All right. Thank you. What's the name of your church? Let Pleasant Hill Baptist. Pleasant Hill Baptist. Pastor Lowry. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. All right. <laughs> and here we are with the heart of the ABC Clinic. Really, actually, the heart. Mm -hmm. Becky Wood. I mean, everybody knows who Becky Wood is, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Becky, I'm going to ask you the very same question I ask every single person I talk, you know, tonight. Your thoughts about tonight. Mm. I was overwhelmed. First of all, seeing the number of people seeing the uh, joy in people, yeah. yes. hearing the message, which was 
I, I cried all my makeup off mm. just hearing the message. But then hearing that total, oh my goodness, yes. that's our God is a God of exceeding abundantly yes. above. And that's, he showed up and he's the heart of the ministry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just his servant. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And I have good help. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I want to say something, you know, and, and as you being the leader, you know, there is a trickle-down effect because you have such a passion and such a heart for for women, for life. And so I see that as a leader and then the staff members, the board members, the people here that are gathered around you to support this ministry and now me stepping on um, as a staff member um, just to help with the outreach portion, the advancement, I'm overwhelmed. Yes. And I certainly appreciate you for everything that you're doing here. But you see, Becky, <laughs> if we did not have a leader, a leader with that, we will not be excited. I mean, right. we need a very excited yes. leader <laughs> to be excited. Well, yes. It helps, yeah. They yeah. tell me I'm a little passionate about this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's an understatement. It Excuse is, a, it is an understatement. <laughs> Well, you've never heard me preach, but I can do it. <laughs> Not because I want to preach, but because God has put it yes, in my heart. Put it in yes. your heart. Has to come out. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what it is. It's in your heart. Mm-hmm. And that's how you're able to do what you're able to do. That's why you're able to have this clinic operate like a well-oiled machine. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you. Because you live it. You breathe it. Well, mm-hmm. actually, thank you from us yeah. to you more than anything mm-hmm. thank you well thank you we need <laughs> thank you this is a love fest right here i think <laughs> we're like three girlfriends we're forgetting that the camera's there it's like a slumber party <laughs> really? God, it really faithful. is it is and you know what i think above all i believe that jesus christ is very glorified tonight mm-hmm. absolutely i believe the father's heart is very happy mm-hmm. yes and when he thinks about us restoring a culture of life mm-hmm. right here, rebuilding right. those walls of righteousness mm-hmm. right here. Yes, he is well pleased. Absolutely. Oh yes. Well, if you were not here for any reason, if you were not able to be here mm-hmm. to help tonight, the clinic, the phone number is going to be on the screen. Mm-hmm. The address is going to be on the screen. The Please. website. The, the website. website. <laughs> Everything the is Google going to ads. be on the screen. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> Please help us. Yeah. You can send your pledge. You can send the money. You can send a pledge for the year and help the clinic. We need the money. This is a war, like we yeah. said tonight, yeah. against abortion and save a life. Absolutely. And it's a war for life. It for is. life. For life. Yes, yes. Absolutely. For life. And keep tuning our shows. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Pilar, you're fabulous. <laughs> you are, Pat. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you all so much.